Miguel, why don't you introduce yourself? Hi, I'm Miguel. And I'm Kayvon. And we're with Gilbert Daily Press. We're back to tell you some news stories. All right, let's just, just jump, jump right, right back, back into, into this. Oh my god, James. <laughs> hey, whoa. You're like Kristen Wiig, dude. I'm sure you guys all recall, last season, in October, we sent Dan out to the Gilbert Education Foundation Gala. He was looking super sharp. And at that gala, they raised a ton of money. And then they let us play Money Fair the other morning. Check this clip out. Today we're awarding $21,000 in grants to Gilbert Public Schools teachers and we earned that money last fall at our gala. It was a really fun event that we had in late October and through that event with community support and support of our businesses we were able to raise over $60,000 and that money will be used to fund today's grants that we're awarding and also our scholarship program that we'll be awarding in May of this year. How does it feel to see the looks on the teachers faces when they receive these? Oh it's really fun and what what they're asking for is so needed in our school district so it's been a really fun morning awarding them the teachers have been surprised and the students have all been really thrilled so it's been a really fun day hi I'm Shalee Webb and I'm the metal teacher at Gilbert High School and the department head for visual arts so what does a grant like this mean to you it is huge because the arts are not financially supported very well in any community anymore right now and so getting that grant is going to help us refurbish a lot of equipment the grant personally means <laughs> amazing things to me because it means that we can build our program here at Gilbert High School. It means that we can showcase to our community better and our kids can reach out and um, start working towards those college degrees, you know, getting the skills so that they can go to the university level or to art school and do those things that they love there. How could someone contribute to the Education Foundation now? Go to gefaz.org. You can send us an email at info at gefaz.org. We're always looking for uh, volunteers, um, uh, donations, and we also have a really cool volunteerism program where our students that earn 200 hours in a year in volunteerism can earn their high school varsity letter. So there's lots of ways to get involved. We'd love it. So if you're watching this video, that means you're sitting at a computer, and that means it's really convenient and easy for you to click the links below and contribute to the Gilbert Education Foundation. Yeah, and tax season is coming up. It's tax refundable. Yeah. If you want next year's tax season to be better than this year's, donate. Catch a little break. Just a little pro tip from your boys over at Gilbert Daily Press. Speaking of pro tips, guess what I got to do this week? Shoot hoops with a potential professional basketball player based out of Gilbert, Arizona. Exactly. Check this out. So we're here at Perry High School with Marcus Howard. He is the point guard here for the varsity team. You're right now on pace to uh, set the record for most points averaged over a season for men's basketball. Is that correct? Yeah, yes, sir. What's, what's your average right now? I'm averaging 32.1. Nice. Now, I saw the other day, uh, a couple weeks ago, you were at Highland and you scored 50 points and got 11 rebounds. That was my uh, that was my school, man. I'm a hawk, so I don't know how much I like that. <laughs> That's you, man. I'm pretty sorry about that. Where do you see your career, and uh, where where do you see it taking you? What are your hopes? Um, right now, I feel like the sky's the limit. I mean, um, first of all, I just have to get through high school and hopefully college, and then. If I'm lucky enough, blessed enough to be able to make it to the professional level, that's what I want to do. That's what I'm striving for. So hopefully the thing, things work out for me and I can do that. All right, so now we're going to do our rapid fire round. What's your favorite food? Pizza. Color? Blue. Cats or dogs? Dogs. Ooh, okay. Poodles or German Shepherds? German Shepherds. Good answer. If you were stranded on a desert island, what was the one thing you would bring? Basketball. What about a hoop? I'd make a hoop. I like this guy. This dude's probably going to be in the NBA someday, so... You might as well see him while it's cheap. And I'm about to beat him in horse. Hey, how you feeling? You feeling confident? How about you? We'll see what happens. <laughs> HO to nothing. All flat. All right. S to nothing. All right, now I'm going to turn it on. <laughs> oh. 
Oh. I didn't get a single letter on him. I was half expecting that. Any well, last words for the people of Gilbert? Shout out to Gilbert, man. I appreciate the love and everything. Thank you. Now, I don't know much about basketball, but that kid can sure hoop some J. <laughs> That's right, Kayvon. Miguel, it looks like this is going to be a really good thing. This kid's yeah. career is going to flourish. Yeah. And we're going to follow it. You got to... I mean, I need a rematch. You got to, I play, need a rematch. Some, you got to play some J's with a future legend, man. I got to hoop some J. You got to hoop some J with a future legend. So for our last story of the day, let's strap on our sneaks and take a peek. Here's the color run. Yeah! <laughs> And another great sprint to the finish for the people of Gilbert. Another awesome event promoting health. Lots of games out there for the youngins. Yeah, no. It was fun. I think it's accurate to, to say that Gilbert may collectively have the lowest resting heart rate in the entire world <laughs> because of how much this town loves to run. It's Absolutely. great. That's crazy. That's, that's 100%. 100%. <laughs> <laughs> so there's plenty of opportunity for you to get out, get active, like Kayvon said, put on those sneaks. And sneak a peek. But be there. But be there. Don't just sneak a peek, <laughs> be there. Then. So have you guys seen the content calendar on gilbertdailypress.com? We have an amazing resource for you guys, and it is a beautifully organized calendar of events, runs, organizations, things that are happening in Gilbert. And that's perfect for you because there's a lot happening. 2015 is in full swing. The town of Gilbert is popping. So thank you guys for watching. Once again, I'm Miguel. And I am Kayvon. We'll see you next week with some more cool Gilbert stuff. Please like, comment, subscribe, and also check out gilbertdailypress.com to find out more about what's happening in your town. <laughs> I like that. You like that? Yeah, that was good.